Okay, so we are looking at the chart. It's called the Gartner Magic Quadrant Chart. On the left side is a 2014 chart, and the right side is a 2016 chart. Gartner has four quadrants in each of those charts. Right from the top, you have challengers going anti-clockwise, niche players, visionaries, and leaders. In the 2014 chart, you got so many of these players like HP, Fujitsu, VMware, GoGrid, Google, CSE, etc. It's like a cloud wars that's going on um, in, the, in this field specifically. Everybody wants to excel and keep up the pace and bring in new technologies up front to their customers. But then it looks like a lot of them lost this war in 2016 and that's why you do not see so many of these bubbles out there on the right hand side. So now you see Google is on the top in Visionaries Quadrant and then that's the only guy left there. And Microsoft and Amazon Web Services are there on the top in the Leaders Quadrant. But what you'll see as a significant difference between both of them is that Microsoft has done quite a lot of innovation since the inception of cloud and then it has been able to catch up with Amazon Web Services in the 2016 quadrant. In the next one, this is a 2017 Gartner chart. Here I see that Google is, is picked up and going into visionaries. You know, heard of Pokemon Go? Yeah, everybody has heard of that. The Pokemon Go is hosted on Google Cloud Kubernetes platform. And in the, the now there's a lot of startups and small and medium business companies shifting their gear towards Google Cloud. But then Microsoft and Amazon has sustained their positions in the leaders quadrant. 